This is Phil Williams on BBC Radio 5 Live. So a picture of the scene. You're in a restaurant with your loved one. Lights are low. The ambiance is romantic. You're looking dreamily into each other's eyes. It's time to order, so you peer down at the menu. And just when you're starting to decide what you'll have for your main course, you see this. This starter may contain nuts. None of our desserts are suitable if you have a dairy allergy. This dish is not suitable for vegetarians. If you need a gluten-free menu, please ask your waiter. Well, those are the new EU regulations that have got a hundred of Britain's leading chefs hot under the apron. They've written to the Telegraph today protesting against the new regulations, which mean that restaurants and cafes have to inform customers if one of 14 allergens is present in their dishes. The chefs say that it will reduce the spontaneity, creativity and innovation in cooking, as well as costing them a few quid. Restaurateur and TV presenter Prue Leith is among those who signed the letter and spoke to Five Live Drive earlier on. This is ridiculous. I mean, they have asked restaurateurs to list 14 allergens on this list. Some of them wouldn't make anybody very sick anyway, but I sort of object to the fact that there are more allergens in Europe that are listed than they do in Canada or the USA, which is about eight, I think, in the USA and a bit more in Canada. And uh, where does this stop? I mean, there are a whole heap more allergens than the ones they've got that could go on there. And why aren't they on there? Some people are allergic to oranges, to peas, to beans, to corn, to pumpkin, to aubergine. The EU says in response that the regulation was adopted unanimously in 2011 and that the proposal was discussed for over three years beforehand. It also says the regulation on allergens is a framework and member states can choose the specifics themselves. Ruth Holroyd joins us, blogger, and runs whatallergy.com. How much of a pain is this for chefs? Oh, well, I, I don't really understand what they're all moaning about, to be honest. I don't think it should be too much of a pain with chefs. And since the regulations have come out, I've been lucky enough to have some fantastic meals out and to be honest if all they can give me is a salad or ham egg and chips then i'd be quite happy so they don't have to change their whole menu they don't have to lose or any creativity or flair they can just carry on being fantastic chefs and if they don't want to feed me they don't even have to at all all they so, need to do sorry so i was just about to say i'm assuming the way you're talking that you've got an allergy or two i have yeah i've got quite a few so yeah. i am every chef's nightmare probably so when you go out for dinner at the moment presumably you have to make them aware of that anyway i do yeah i'd always phone up and if somewhere wasn't happy to cater for me then i obviously wouldn't go there so i would phone before make sure that if 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 i have these allergies that they can cater for me usually i would ask them to advise me what on the menu would be suitable for me. So I suppose it begs the question, Ruth, really, do you, do you, you personally, do you need this EU regulation? Because if you've got so many allergies, you're going to make them very clear anyway. You don't need to read them on a, uh, read what, what's in the dish on a menu, because presumably you'll ask and double check. I always do, but I think a lot of the people that are really at risk, the ones that have critical reactions, often don't realise how serious their allergy is. And also I think there's a huge problem with cross-contamination. And I have had lots of reactions in restaurants where I have asked before and on one occasion nuts were picked off the meal in an Indian restaurant I would hope that that wouldn't be mm. still happening that was a while ago but there do is you think a this menu of... thing will, will alleviate that or not I hope so I think it's all about awareness because I think a lot of people don't realize how serious it is if I eat peanuts and dairy I will have anaphylaxis and I have been rushed to a &E when I've had a bad reaction. And I think some people think we might just get a tummy ache and that it's okay to have a little trace of something, and it's not. So we just need to be told, definitely, this food is not right for you, it's got dairy in. I think mm. that's all it is. I don't think they should be so kind of up in arms about it. I think it's a positive thing. Ruth, thanks for discussing with us. Ruth Thank Holroyd, you. blogger who runs whatallergy.com. Still to come in the late news hour, actor Steve McFadden.